Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. I literally just woke up, that's why I kind of sound weird. But in today's video, I'm going to be making a homecoming video. kind of weird because I'm not in high school anymore. But I know that a lot of you guys are, so I wanted to make more of like an informative video about homecoming. But also show you guys like some good hairstyles, dresses, makeup, all that. So I'm going to do a get ready with me, but also talk and answer all the questions you guys have been asking me about homecoming. I'm really excited about today's sponsor. It is David's Bridal, which I'm really excited about that is so cool because literally my junior year I went to David's Bridal to shop for like prom dresses and I've been there to look at wedding dresses for family so this is just really cool but if you guys didn't know David's Bridal actually is not just a wedding dress shop there are prom dresses and homecoming dresses so that's where I got my homecoming dresses I really like David's Bridal because they believe that every girl should have her dream dress regardless of her style size or budget I know a lot of you guys were asking where to get a affordable yet quality homecoming dress and David's Bridal is definitely for you because they have outstanding value and surprisingly affordable. They have a wide variety of homecoming dresses starting at under $100. And the dresses are available from sizes 0 to 24. I know that sometimes I would stress about like, okay now I have my dress but where do I get my necklaces and my shoes and my bracelets? Well David's Bridal actually has everything they got you covered from head to toe they got handbags and bracelets and all the jewelry that you're going to need to complete your homecoming look i also got a lot of questions about if you should shop online or in store personally i was more of an in-store girl or maybe look in store but then order exactly what i wanted online but lucky for you david's bridal actually has over 300 stores in us canada and the uk so if you're wanting a nice affordable dress and there's not an actual store nearby you can order online so the first thing in actually getting prepared for homecoming for me is to get my nails done i always get my nails done a couple days before so I'm gonna head to the nail salon and while I'm there, I'm going to answer some of your questions. Do you have to go your freshman year of high school for the experience? You only have four homecomings you could ever go to within your four years of high school. And your freshman year is a great year to just go and experience it because if you look awkward or feel awkward everyone will just know that you're a freshman and you don't have to feel as awkward because all the other freshmen are in the same boat as you. kind of just eases a lot of the anxieties of homecoming if you just go your freshman year and know what's up. I just got done at the nail salon and oh my gosh look how freaking cute these nails are. I've never gotten almond shape and this is officially my new favorite shape. I usually always get coffin and I got ombre dip nails which I never do dip. I always do acrylic but I decided to try something new and then I tried a new nail salon too because I heard they do ombre and like cool designs so I went and they were so good. It was so nice in there and they did such a good job so I just have like gray to white ombre almond nails and they're matte and you guys know how much I love matte nails so and I got my toes done here's some feet pics for all you feet lovers I haven't got my tail no toes done in so long I was invited to go by my friend but I don't know if I should go so here's the thing if someone goes out of their way to ask you to homecoming, as long as you don't like feel uncomfortable or something like that, you should definitely go with them because that takes a lot of courage to ask someone and they're obviously really looking forward to going with you. But along with that, I would suggest not just going with a date. You need to go with a bunch of friends. You don't even have to go with a date. Friends are what makes it fun. Well, now that I finally got the courage to ask for nails, you know how hard it is to walk into a nail salon and be like, do this. I don't know why, I just find that hard. So now we can continue on to phase two of getting ready for homecoming, which will be a good old shower. I need to shave my legs. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I'm gonna style it the way that it is. And we'll uh, do our makeup. Hey, why are you meowing? Should I ask the guy or should I wait for a guy to ask me to homecoming? I actually have done both. In fact, my senior year, I asked my boyfriend to prom. My advice is do whatever you feel comfortable doing. The reason that I asked the boy, he went to a different school, so I felt like I should ask him to homecoming. In my head, it's like, if I want to invite someone to go to my dance with me, I should ask them. But if I want them to invite me to go to their dance, then they should ask me. Side note, don't forget to shop my merch. This is my own personal little merch rack. 
cinemahe.com, always in the description. Wow, I feel like a whole new person. I am pampering myself today. My legs are smoother than they have ever been. My nails are done and my toes are done and now I'm gonna do my makeup all pretty. I just wanted to throw in that part of the reason that I loved going to homecoming so much in high school was there's really no other time in your life that you get to dress up that formal other than like your wedding day and maybe a few other special events where you get to like really just go all out. Starting off with my concealer. I've used the same concealer literally for probably five years. It's this CoverGirl concealer. Got it at Walgreens. I've been getting a lot of questions of like what to exactly expect at homecoming. Of course, every single school is gonna be different. It's gonna have different experiences, different rules, but I'm just gonna talk from my experience. So at my school, everyone dresses up. If you're not wearing like formal clothing, you will not fit in. Homecoming, in my opinion, should be short dresses. I mean, I saw people wear long dresses at my school's homecoming, but 99% of every girl will wear a short dress because I think the long dress is more of like a ball like formal so like prom wedding that kind of stuff I think of long dress and I mean like I've talked about you do not have to follow any sort of rules how you want to dress and who you want to go with is totally up to you but I know as a freshman it really helped when everyone told me like what the norm was because I didn't really want to stick out if you want to by all means do it now I'm just using my elf bronzer blush palette so I'll just give you the rundown of a typical itinerary of the homecomings that I went to basically you get your date or your friends and your big group and you make a big group chat you decide on where you're eating someone makes the reservation and then you plan around the reservations instead of time to start getting ready I usually literally just started right after school because I had to shower and do my hair and my makeup and it takes a long time and then once everyone's ready you plan pictures so usually we would meet around like six o'clock for pictures and you either do that at someone's house or maybe a golf course or the dinner place you're going to, somewhere nice and everyone's parents come and you just take like a million pictures. Now I'm just going in with my eyebrow brush. I need to focus. So after pictures, you have dinner. And make sure you have your rides all coordinated. If you're all old enough to drive, just make sure you know like who all is riding with who. Or if you can't drive yet, then make sure your parents know who's driving. So you go to dinner, usually somewhere super formal. So then after dinner, you usually just go to the dance. Sometimes I'd go get ice cream before the dance. Sometimes I'd get after the dance. But it's an option if you have this like weird, awkward gap, you could just go out for dessert or just like walk around or just go to the school and walk around. For us, homecoming, actually my junior year switched to be the day of the football game which is weird so after dinner we'd all go watch part of the football game like in our dresses and then we'd all go wait in line to go into the dance pretty much it's just a day that you guys can do whatever you want it's you and your friends it's a chance to have fun so you know splurge a little bit have some fun and make it memorable Now with your hair, you can go as crazy or as simple as you want, especially depending on if your dress is super simple or a little bit more out there. Today, I'm literally just going to do a little braid because it's simple, it's easy. Actually, I think I'm gonna do two little braids. Makeup is done, hair is done. Now we get to put on my dresses from David's Bridal and all of my jewelry and my shoes. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys my shoes. Hello. All right, let's put on my jewelry and then I'll do a full on fashion show. Just so you guys know, this dress, under $100. Literally $79.95 is what was on the tag. David's Bridal, that's what's up. Ooh, pretty. To take off all this my daily jewelry and put on my fancy jewelry oh my gosh these are gorgeous ah. gotta take off all of these bracelets put on this pretty thing Ooh, now my sparkly So here is dress number one. I'm freaking obsessed. It's just this blue like sparkly tight dress. 
And let me tell you about the shoes. These are like velvet, just simple strappy shoes. I am obsessed with these heels. And then this is the second dress from David's Bridal. It's like more of like a poofy, florally, kind of homecoming vibe dress. Oh, and look at the detail on the back. For today's video once again thank you so much to david's bridal for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to shop david's bridal for these super cute and affordable dresses the link will be down in the description i hope this was actually enjoyable i'm kind of sad i'm not going to homecoming i love dressing up and stuff and if it's your first homecoming then hopefully you know what to expect and that you aren't as stressed about it anymore i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching my social media is down below as always and make sure to shop shopmerchandise.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.